everyone. It's great to see you back on Generative AI. I hope today's been productive for you. I wanted to share some big news from Google that feels like a seismic event in the AI world. Gemini Ultra, VO3, Image4, and several other powerful tools. After years of incremental progress, this announcement feels like a culmination, a moment when generative AI becomes even more integrated into our daily lives and workflows. If you've ever wondered what the future of AI looks like, this is it. Imagine starting your day with a simple prompt and having an entire creative or technical pipeline unfold automatically. With Gemini Ultra, Google has introduced a language model that reportedly doubles the performance of its predecessor while having inference time. Instead of waiting half a second for a response, you see near instant results. That makes a huge difference when you're building chatbots, drafting documents, or prototyping an app that relies on live language interaction. Gemini Ultra handles complex tasks effortlessly from conversational chat to in-depth research assistance. VO3 represents Google's leap forward in video understanding and generation. Past versions struggled with high resolution streams or maintaining context across frames. Now, VO3 can process 4K video in real time, recognize objects, detect transitions, and even generate or edit clips based on textual instructions. Picture you have hours of conference footage. You ask VO3 to extract every moment where someone mentions a particular topic, splice those into a highlight reel, and overlay subtitles. It happens in a matter of moments, delivering exactly what you need without delay. Image 4 is Google's latest image synthesis and editing model. Earlier iterations could generate visually appealing images, but sometimes struggled with consistent style or subtle details like lighting and perspective. Image 4 addresses these issues with a refined architecture and more diverse training data. Now, when you request a vintage science fiction illustration of a city floating above water at sunset, you get a coherent scene with realistic water reflections, dynamic lighting, and authentic textures. While those three models are showstoppers, Google didn't stop there. They also announced Whisper Pro, an advanced speech recognition system that excels in noisy or multi-speaker environments. Whisper Pro can transcribe podcasts recorded in crowded cafes or conference panels with dozens of participants, labeling speakers accurately and timing transcripts to match audio. It even identifies hesitations or filler words, making post-production editing easier. For journalists, podcasters, and researchers, this kind of automated assistance saves hours of manual review. Development workflows also get a boost with Code Assist enhancements. Powered by ultra-level integration, Code Assist can generate boilerplate code, refactor entire modules, and offer performance optimizations based on your target environment. Imagine you need a function to process incoming JSON and update a database. Instead of writing 30 lines from scratch, Code Assist drafts the function, complete with error handling and security checks. It suggests refactoring steps that minimize manual edits and potential errors. There's also Scribe AI, a document understanding tool that reads complex materials, legal contracts, academic papers, technical manuals, and summarizes them in plain language. Suppose you have a 200-page contract with dense legal jargon. Scribe AI highlights key clauses related to liability, confidentiality, and termination then produces a concise summary. It can also mask sensitive information or suggest alternative phrasing to improve clarity. For legal professionals, researchers, and students, this saves hours of manual reading and review. Perhaps the most exciting part is how all these models integrate under a unified platform. Instead of juggling separate APIs for language, vision, and speech, developers simply pick a model name in a single request. The platform manages routing, scaling, and optimization behind the scenes. Want to build a teaching app that listens to students, analyzes their questions, generates visual aids, and provides verbal feedback. You can chain Whisper Pro to transcribe, Ultra to understand and summarize, Image 4 to create supporting visuals, and VO3 to generate video explanations, all in a cohesive workflow. Accessibility was a core consideration. Google outlined tiered access plans, 
from a free tier for experimentation to enterprise plans with guaranteed throughput. Hobbyists and small teams can spin up ultra tests or generate a handful of images without cost. When your project scales, you can upgrade to a plan that provides dedicated GPUs, enhanced privacy controls, and support for compliance with regulations like HIPAA or GDPR. That means startups, educational institutions, and established corporations alike can leverage these models with confidence. Customization and fine tuning got a major overhaul too. In the past, fine tuning could feel like a roadblock. You needed significant data, deep knowledge of hyperparameters, and often a cluster of machines. Now Google's platform streamlines fine tuning. You provide a small data set, maybe a few hundred examples, and the system automatically optimizes hyperparameters, validates performance, and deploys the tuned model. For instance, a medical research team could fine tune Gemini Ultra on their proprietary clinical data to generate precise diagnostic summaries, all without wrestling with complex training scripts. Data privacy concerns are front and center. When you send sensitive documents or patient records for summarization, you want assurances that your data remains secure. Google's documentation emphasizes encryption both at rest and in transit, strict access controls, and the option to enforce data residency in specific geographic regions. That's crucial for organizations operating under strict data sovereignty regulations. You can choose to keep your data within the EU or within a particular state in the US, ensuring compliance without sacrificing performance. Behind these advances lies massive infrastructure innovation. Google shared details about new TPU v5 clusters, optimized for training and inference of these large models. TPU v5 doubles the performance per chip compared to previous generations while drawing less power. The clusters are linked by ultra-fast fabric networks that minimize latency when synchronizing weights during training. Data pipelines are optimized for efficient sharding and prefetching, allowing Google to train Gemini Ultra and Image 4 on petabyte-scale datasets without bottlenecks. On benchmark tests, the improvements are remarkable. For language tasks, Gemini Ultra achieves 45% lower perplexity than its predecessor and outperforms competing models on reasoning challenges like logic puzzles and code generation. Image 4 shows a 20% improvement in FID scores over Image 3, translating to more photorealistic and artifact-free outputs. VO3 reduces frame interpolation errors by half and provides near instantaneous shot boundary detection, making video editing and analysis dramatically faster and more reliable. Edge deployment is another critical piece. Not every application can rely on the cloud. When you need low latency or offline functionality, Ultra Light, VO Mini, and Image 4 Lite offer streamlined footprints. These trimmed down versions run on devices like smartphones, Raspberry Pis, or custom SoCs. While they sacrifice some accuracy compared to their full-scale counterparts, they still deliver impressive performance. For example, Ultra Light can handle on-device text summarization, voice assistance, or language translation without sending data back to a server. Google also debuted AI Studio, an integrated development environment for debugging and visualizing AI workflows. Instead of manually logging outputs, you can trace how Ultra processes a prompt, inspect attention weights, watch Image 4's diffusion steps in real time, or preview VO3's video segmentation layers. If you're chaining models, AI Studio shows you latency breakdowns, memory usage, and throughput metrics. That visibility helps you optimize prompts, adjust batch sizes, or choose alternative model versions to achieve desired performance. Community involvement remains key to Google's strategy. They open-sourced many research papers, released checkpoints for smaller versions of these models, and invited feedback on GitHub. Researchers can download base models, run local experiments, and propose optimizations or extensions. Google's teams monitor discussions, incorporate community-contributed bug fixes, and address performance issues reported by developers. This open approach accelerates progress and ensures innovation isn't locked behind proprietary walls. Comparing Google's offerings with competitors reveals interesting trade-offs. OpenAI's GPT models 
maintain strong leadership in conversational AI. But Gemini Ultra's speed and cross-modal capabilities give it an edge in integrated applications. Meta's Llama excels at research flexibility, but lacks the same level of production tooling and end-to-end -end ecosystem that Google provides. In image synthesis, while other models produce compelling visuals, Image 4's global aesthetic understanding and support for multiple languages set a new bar for consistency and quality. These announcements signal that AI is moving from novel experiments to everyday utilities. Years ago, only researchers and big labs had access to advanced language or image models. Today, with free tiers and simplified APIs, anyone can prototype new ideas. We're approaching a future where AI suggestions are woven into writing emails, designing websites, or editing videos. Imagine drafting a blog post. Gemini Ultra generates the initial draft. Image 4 creates a custom header image, and VO3 produces a short highlight video, all within minutes. For educators and learners, that future offers unprecedented access. Students can ask Ultra to explain complex topics in plain language or translate specialized terms in real time. Teachers can generate custom visual aids with Image 4 to fit lesson plans perfectly. Language learners can practice conversation with AI models that correct grammar, suggest better phrasing, and provide cultural context. This democratization transforms education from static textbooks to dynamic interactive experiences tailored to each student's needs. Despite the promise, challenges remain. Ethical considerations around bias, misinformation, and misuse are serious. Training on vast internet data means these models can still produce harmful stereotypes or offensive content. Google detailed efforts to mitigate bias by curating training sets, applying adversarial testing, and incorporating human-in-the-loop reviews. They also enforce content filters during inference to block disallowed outputs. Even so, developers must build responsible guardrails, continually audit model behavior, and be transparent about AI-generated content. Another concern is the potential for job disruption. As AI capabilities grow, certain tasks will become automated, transcribing meetings, generating marketing drafts, or basic photo editing. But technology historically replaces some jobs while creating new roles. AI-related positions like prompt engineers, AI ethicists, and integration specialists are already in high demand. The key is adaptability, learning how to collaborate with AI, focusing on tasks requiring human empathy, creativity, and strategic judgment rather than purely mechanical work. Looking ahead, Google hinted at even more integration between their AI models and everyday products. Imagine Gmail auto-drafting context-aware replies, or Google Docs suggesting full paragraphs instead of just autocomplete. Then explore code samples demonstrating how to send requests, handle responses, and integrate model outputs into a web or mobile app. Use the pricing calculator to estimate costs based on projected usage patterns. Once comfortable, experiment with chaining models, transcribe with Whisper Pro, summarize with Ultra, generate relevant images with Image 4, and produce a short highlight video using VO3. See how seamlessly each step flows into the next, eliminating the need to switch between multiple services. This integrated approach not only speeds up development, but also unlocks creative workflows previously unimaginable. For instance, a nonprofit creating awareness campaigns can use Ultra to craft a compelling narrative, Image 4 to produce vivid illustrations, and Veo3 to generate an engaging promotional clip with voiceovers and subtitles, all in less time than it would take to hire multiple freelancers. Stay tuned for deeper tutorials and demonstrations coming soon, and share your projects with us. Thank you for spending your time with me and diving into all these developments. If you found this overview helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to Generative AI, and share your thoughts in the comments. Which feature excites you the most? Are there specific projects you're planning with Gemini Ultra, VO3, Image 4, or any of the other tools? Let me know, and we can explore together. Until next time, happy building, stay creative, and keep pushing the limits of what's possible with AI.